Yo guys, what's going on? Burt Crown here with a YouTube video and today we're going to be discussing a couple of things to be preparing yourself for with the upcoming weeks because there is two very big things coming up and there's a couple of things you can do to help yourself out preparing and saving and holding stuff instead of wasting it to get yourself everything you need to get ready for the next two things coming out that are massive. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. If you do enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that sub button and notification bell, guys. 65% of people watching these videos aren't subbed. If you do enjoy it, hit that sub. It really helps with the channel. It means a lot to me, and it makes sure you don't miss anything in the future. But let's dive into it and see what events we need to be ready for. First of all, the first one we're going to talk about going into sets. We're going to go all the way over to team builders here, and you're going to notice that team builders have a cost to them, very expensive cost, and it is these cards here. As you can see, I've slowly started preparing myself for team builders as I have 20 Chicago, 19 Colorado, 13 Dallas, 23 Edmonton. So I have a bunch. I have zero LA, but that's okay. I have a bunch of teams I'm starting to hold. I'm starting to build up and I'm starting to get ready for. And that's because team builders is very expensive and especially this time around. So what I'm going to talk about is the cost of the team builders. Then we're going to go into the other event that we also need to be saving for because it's also another expensive one. So you're going to notice... The 87s, you need six 84s, which is six six NHL team builders. Six of those get you an 87, and then two 87s get you a 90. But you have eight 87s, which gives you four 90s if you built all eight. But where the team builder catch comes in is there is six 90s. So yes, you had eight 87s, but you actually needed 12 to get all six 90s. So then this, now you have the six 90s, and there was four 93s so the 690s only covered three so you need to go build two more 90s to get the 93. this is where it brings us into it because before you could stockpile all your nhl players in the team builder set and you'd be okay but now you have to build more than one set you're looking at 48 nhl teams to do all the team builders if you wanted all three 96s, because I'm going to assume there's three, because every single time one comes out, you, you're you one short. I don't think they're going to drop four. I think they're going to drop three. You'll be one short, so you have to build everything up, build the third one, and then the 99s will come out, and you'll be you'll, you'll need two 99s, which then you'll be 196 short kind of thing. That's how I see it going. So to save, what you're going to do is you're just going to start putting all of your NHLers in here every single one you can get your hands on. Now, how would you go about getting your hands on them? Exchange sets. So you can exchange in here in the exchange sets, you can exchange jerseys for mini packs, captaincy for base packs, celebrations for a prime pack, um, goalie masks for another base pack, and then so on and so forth. You can go in and you can change in your jerseys, your logos, everything here gets you more packs. And in packs come players. When you get silver players, don't get discouraged. You take the silver players and you turn them into gold players. Now, this is all a lot of sets and it's very time consuming, but if you need team builders and you don't have a lot of coins to put out, this is one way of doing it. And then you take your gold non-NHL players and you can put 10 in here for two premium players, which still might not be NHL, or in the training camp set, you can turn in two gold players for an NA, for one NHL player. So that's where you'd send your non-NHL gold players. But there's only so many teams you can do, so you'd redo the same team over and over again. Team builders aren't that far away, guys, so we got to keep an eye out and we got to get ready. And if you're not doing sets, another way of getting ready is play your rivals, play your squad battles. Even if you get a little bit of squad battles done and you get yourself into Elite 3 or Pro 3, you're getting pack, you're getting collectibles to turn into NHL player packs, and you're getting coins to help you buy more players. So do your objectives, do your rush, do your rivals, do your squad battles, prepare yourself. You can even do moments. There's moments that could help you out with that. And then finally, in the auction house. This is probably the biggest thing right now as team builders aren't out people aren't all over it just yet but when we get closer and closer to people thinking team builders are coming out these prices skyrocket so what you're going to do is you're going to filter at a thousand i just put it at 1100 because you know slightly lazy thousand there's 133 nhl players for under a thousand you're going to go through and you're going to either filter this down until you get to a point where you're comfortable with like oh look don't buy this ryan ellis he doesn't count in the set because he's not a gold player but you can go through and buy all these gold players up for under a thousand maybe even filter it up just a little bit 
and then buy all these 80 all the uh, 82s in here for under a thousand sixty one and that's going to help you build more team builders or when team builders do drop you can sell these cards for like 15 16 17 even 1800 sometimes they reach into the 2000s how desperate people are for nhl cards so don't forget about the auction house and then lastly when it comes to the la the next event that should be friday team of the season team of the year was a big event it always is but it always costs a ton now what we're expecting at a team of the season given past history is when it drops you'll be able to turn in all of your team of the year players for their team of the season version and you get it back if they're a team of the season version they usually are and you get it back so you get your team of the year back you get the team of the season you can choose between the synergies and abilities based on what fits for your team but it's expensive now how we can prepare is like an event like the hut elites you got a player like austin matthews he most likely is going to have a team of the season i would really really be surprised if he doesn't as he is leading the league in scoring and he is looking at breaking the goals per season in cap error hockey so i'm willing to bet he's getting a team of the season now maybe nobody else in this event gets one that's fine there will be others in other events and the reason this is crucial is quinn hughes let's say quinn hughes gets a team of the season if you have his MSP, or you know you can go out and get his MSP and power it up, you will then be able to turn his MSP in for less collectibles than the regular. So you'll have team of the season, Quinn Hughes will cost you like 65 collectibles to get him. I'm just throwing a number out there. If you have the MSP Quinn Hughes powered up fully, it might only cost you 40 collectibles to get him. Last year, for example, there was a 93 and his 94 team of the season came out. It cost seven team of the year collectibles to get that MSP from a 93 to a 94. But then you don't have to worry about ever that card again. As he gets more cards in the future, it just levels up for you. So yes, his team of the season will be a 95 like Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews Elite goes from a 94 to a 95. I pay seven collectibles. But the next Austin Matthew cards that come out is a 96. My team of the season automatically upgrades. That's why we want to prepare for this event. And it's the exact same as team builders, guys. Do your games, do your squad battles, do everything you can do to get as many packs as you can get and save everything. Now, one other thing that I really wanted to point out, I really wanted to stress this. You're going to see 69,000 for 89s. 69,000 for 90s and the reason that is if you've been wondering 90s and 89s have the exact same exchange rate but when team of the season drops i fully expect that 90s will be a change in set and at that point the 90s will be much more valuable than the 89s and their price will change so right now you're getting 90s at the same price as 89s because they carry the same value even though it's one overall higher they carry the same value because you can't exchange in higher than 89 it's just the way the game is. Every card's value is off that little top left-hand corner number. And if there's nothing you can do with that, it drops it down in value. It's unfortunate that this game is only about fodder and not about collecting cards and stuff like that. Buy your 90s now if you have the capital to do so. Because when they bring out an exchange set for 90s, that'll bring the price up of those cards. And it makes them more valuable, saving you coins, which is very crucial. Save your coins, guys, because they're all, even this one. 97,000. This 97,000 Backstrom is cheaper than the 89 Marner. For Trano, 68,000. Again, cheaper. We can we can scroll through. You'll probably find more. Yeah, there's a Forsberg. There's a there's a Besser. It's not one-off. And the new MSPs are in here. There's, it's not one-offs, guys. The 89s and the 90s are the same price. Go out and buy your 90s, not your 89s, and get a profit that way or more collectibles when Team of the Season drops. That's one great way to prepare for the events, guys. I hope this helps you. I hope you get on top of it, you get ahead, and you don't have to you know, spend like crazy when Team of the Season drops, because we know, guys, Team of the Season's gonna drop. It's gonna bring a whole lot of hype back into the game. Everybody's gonna be after it. Cards are gonna be hard to buy. Cards are gonna be hard to grab. And when they are, when you can get them, they're gonna be expensive. You're gonna wanna chase these cards to, ha to have fun and play with them, but be ready, be prepared, so it doesn't cost you a lot of coins. Thank you guys for watching this video. Get out there. Get ready, and until next time, ciao, ciao.